Hello and welcome to Me Tarot Owl. Today we're going to be talking about the panda bear as a totem or a messenger animal. So if you keep seeing the panda bear or, uh, well, seeing pictures of it or hearing stories of them, maybe a commercial on TV or on the radio, somewhere someone mentions the word, mentions the word panda or maybe you're even uh, going to visit at the zoo and you're just in awe at the panda bear e exhibit. Um, so those are all like little uh, little messages that the panda bear is trying to to come forward to you and give you a message or to help you uh, deal with something um, that's going on in your life. And I'm going to be talking about that here. And um, so let's just begin here. So the panda mothers are almost 1,000 times larger than their newborns. The cubs are the size of a mouse and weigh 3 to 4 ounces. They usually always give birth to twins, but usually only one of them survive because uh, they only care for one. They only care for one at a time. Um, they're not going to like give one a little bath and go and give the next one a little bath. They're going to give it a bath, they're going to feed it, and, you know, and, and cuddle with it, or whatever the panda bears do, and the other one is just going to lay there. So, um, they usually, uh, only usually one survives, but anyhow, a panda must eat up to 14 hours a day to keep energy levels up, and 99% uh, percent is of bamboo. So, bamboo is also a totem for for you if you're uh, a panda totem person. <laughs> um, I'll tell you about the, the bamboo uh, later here. The panda also has an extra thumb for gripping the bamboo. They have to strip the bark off to get to the soft inside. Because of this, the panda teaches you how to get to the meat of the matters surrounding you. So, um... Now about the bamboo. Bamboo has strength and flexibility. Bamboo shoots to people are a delicacy and wine is often spiced with the leaves. Bamboo uh, discs were used uh, as money sometimes. And the Chinese made um, hobby ho horses or um, rocking horses out of bamboo. And that is to, to symbolize uh, youth. An old uh, Chinese saying that the leaves of the bamboo drop because its heart is empty. But an empty heart is also the same as being modest. So that reflects onto you in the essence of being modest but yet quite strong. Now seeing that they usually have twins and only have four in their entire lifetime. For having a totem panda, it is very important not to take on too much creative activities than you can handle. Like pandas, you should focus on one at a time before moving into another project. You must nourish it fully to make it happen. So when the panda shows up, there are great tasks ahead. The early stages will be tough, and it's important to stay focused and not split the intentions up into more than one task. So, um, some questions that you can ask yourself if you are being attracted to a, a panda bear, you know, like I was saying, if you keep seeing one and hearing stories of one, and so on and so on like that, um, here are the questions. Am I trying to do too much at once? Am I looking for shortcuts? Or am I staying focused? Or am I being distracted? So, again, when the panda shows up, you step back and ask yourself, what is this panda spirit, totem, messenger, trying to show me? And that is uh, the pandum totem and uh, pandum messenger. So I thank you for watching and uh, you have a great day. Bye.